Would you like to learn how to create something like this in CapCut? Watch this video to find out how. Open CapCut and start a new project. If you want to follow along with me, you can download the file I used in this tutorial by clicking on the Google Drive link below. Let's import the video that we will be using for this tutorial. We're going to use this video as our transition. In order for this transition to work, you need a video that has an object covering from top to bottom. For instance, in this video, we have an object that covers part of the video from top to bottom. Let's drop these videos onto our timeline and then drag the transition video on top. Next, let's figure out which part of the video we want the transition to start. I think this part where the subject is about to pass this pillar is fine. Make sure the video is selected, then go to Mask and select Horizontal. Using this icon, rotate the mask to minus 90 degrees and then move it all the way to the right, covering the entire video below. Then click on this triangle icon to keyframe the mask. As you can see, there's a diamond icon appearing on the video, indicating that this part of the video has been keyframed. Now you have to move the timeline alongside the mask. For this one, I'm gonna move five frames to the right and then reposition the mask to where the pillar is on the video. Just follow what I did here. Every time you move the mask to where the pillar is, it will put a keyframe on the video. I'll fast forward this part of the video to make it short. You can spend more time doing this to make the transition smoother. As you can see, there are some black bars present on both sides of the video. So we have to make sure that the second video is the same size as the first video. Select the second video, then click on Basic, and, using the Scale slider, adjust the size of the video to make it fit on our Timeline Viewer. Again, just follow what I did here. Let's see what we've got so far. As you can see, our mask has a very hard edge, so let's soften it a bit by dragging this arrow to the left. Let's see it again. It's looking good now, but we have another thing that needs fixing here. The first video seems to be a little bit jumpy, so let's try to fix it using the Stabilize feature on CapCut. Make sure the first video is selected, then click on Basic, scroll down, and look for Stabilize. I will just use the default settings here, but you can try experimenting with the other settings if you find that the footage is still shaky. Let's see the result. It seems that the transition is a bit slow, so let's speed ramp the transition. Select the first video, then go to Speed, and then Curve. Move the first curve point to where the transition starts on the video. Then also move the middle curve closer to the first point curve, and lastly, the third curve point to where the transition ends. Just follow what I did here. Finally, drag the middle curve point up to speed up that part of the video where we have our transition. Let's see the result. The transition now moves faster when it reaches that part of the video where we put some speed ramping. To make this even more cinematic, let's apply sound effects. Click on audio, then sound effects. Let's try searching for a whoosh sound effect. I think this one is fine. Add it to the timeline where the transition is. Let's see the result. Isn't it amazing? Adding some sound effects to the transition will definitely make your video look more professional. Let's export our final video and see it in full screen. And there you have it, our mask transition tutorial in CapCut. I'm going to be making another transition tutorial video on CapCut. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you for watching.
and I'll see you on the next one.